guys, I'm Sukhmeet Singh Satchel. I'm a 17 year old from Surrey, BC, Canada. Uh, my hobbies are drawing, flying planes, and also to volunteer. At the age of five, I started volunteering at a mental institute in India called Bingalara. And when I came to Canada in 2002 from India, um, as a Sikh, I'm obliged to help others. So, and it's called Seva, which means to serve others without any judgment of their caste, creed, or re religion. So, what I started doing was volunteering at local organizations. And in high school, I took part in every single club, as well as outside of high, um, outside of school. I spent time in many other clubs and sports. So that led me on to my volunteering path. And that also made me want to do something outside of Canada. And in September, I formed a club called Students Without Borders. And our aim was to help third world countries. And we raised $15,000 to help um, children and women in Kenya. And so that led me on to more interest about going outside of Canada and helping out um, in other parts of the world. And so I um, fortunately found uh, coming to Ghana. My enrollment was amazing. It was so easy. The emails were sent um, that were sent through the uh, main office were really clear, and all the instructions were laid out perfectly, so there was no confusion at all. And when I came, it was awesome. I came at nighttime, so the lines were actually really big when I came into the terminal. So maybe try booking a flight that's a little bit earlier, so you didn't get stuck at night. And. The greeting was amazing. My volunteer coordinator, Annette, was there to um, pick me up and she was really nice. And we went home to Kaforia. Uh, it was a two hour drive from Accra, which is the uh, capital of Ghana. Yeah. The orientation was the second day that I came and it was amazing because we sat on the porch in the sun. We were soaking up so much information about Ghana, such as oh, words like Akwaba, which means welcome, and Madase, which means thank you. So we learned lots of um, words in Twi, which is the language in Ghana. And we also learned about the routes um, to take to the places that we're volunteering at. And just a tip for you, a taxi ride is only 50 Pashwe, which is not even 20 cents in Canadian dollars. <laughs> My project was amazing. I was assigned to Project Medical Care and what I worked on was in the surgery ward. So what I did was help the doctors with um, patients who just had surgery and we helped them through physiotherapy as well as I took blood pressure, um, I took blood tests, I did many things with the doctors so I got a hands-on experience about the medical field which is what I want to do when I grow up. I also went to uh, the orphanage even though that was part of my project, I still went there. And just seeing how the kids were and how they study at school is like truly amazing and it makes us feel blessed to have what we have. And coming here really changed me for the better. As I saw that kids here, um, they're happy with the smallest things. If you give them a pencil, they, their smile um, lights up. The accommodation was great. Uh, as you see behind me, there's a pink house. It is clean. There's no bugs inside the house. So for all you germaphobics, don't be scared. Like I was when I was in Canada. I was like, oh my God, I don't know where I'm gonna stay. But truly, this is an amazing place. No one's bribing me to do this. Uh, there, inside the room, there's a two uh, bunk bed and a single bed. And it's really cozy. The mattresses are like the ones in Canada. They're so cozy. So you'll feel like you're at home. And also the cooking is amazing, cooked by our cook, Naomi. Uh, she makes us breakfast and dinner, and the food is actually really good. And if you're um, on dietary restrictions such as me, um, a vegetarian, there's so many options for you like fried rice, 
vegetable stew. There's so many things for you to eat, so don't worry, you won't starve here. We travel the country to places like um, Cape Coast. Uh, what we did there was we visited Can Kakum National Park and we went on the canopy walk. Also we went to the Slave Castle which was an amazing experience because we saw how people in the past used to live in cellars and how they used to live life. So I felt so fortunate and I felt so sad for them as to how they lived and they sacrificed their freedom for us. We also went to Bodhi Falls which is a local uh, but amazing beautiful waterfall. And what I did was climb all the way um, across the waterfall, which was so much fun. Bring bug spray. Trust me, even though you don't need it inside the house, when you go outside, there are gonna be bugs, and just to be safe of any diseases or bacteria, I think you should carry some bug spray. Try not to use your left hand for anything. Um, in Ghana, it, it's actually offensive to use your left hand for anything. So if you want to shake somebody's hand, you use your right hand. If you want to give money to someone, you use your right hand. Anything that you do, if you want to pass some food, you have to use your right hand. So for all you left hand people, try to get um, to learn your right hand. Because if you use your left hand, people will uh, find it as an offense. And lastly, my third advice would be just to live it up. You're here from such a faraway country and if you don't enjoy yourself, then you shouldn't be here. Uh, you came from so far away, so might as well just enjoy every single moment that you have here. Um, get to know the people that are here with you. Get to learn about their lifestyle and how they live and maybe learn some ways that you can take back to your family and teach them about some etiquettes that are taught here that are not maybe um, found in your country. I strongly recommend you choose this um, program over any other ones because first of all it's affordable. Second of all, um, we have a volunteer coordinator with us the entire time. We ha we're given phones so anytime we need help they're always there to come and get us. For example, I fell one day and I just phoned my volunteer coordinator Annette and she came right away to the hospital and she took care of it. People here are so friendly, our neighbors are amazing, they're so nice. The only restriction is come at home by 9.30. But that won't be a problem because it's so dark by 9.30 anyway. And you're home around 6 o'clock so you'll be good. And there's internet, there's everything here for you. And I know you will have an amazing experience like I did.